Movies. We all love them. We all watch them every day. Sitting in front of screens, watching flashing images, wishing that was us next to Angelina Jolie. From small romantic comedies to fighting evil villains in sci-fi fantasies. There is so much variety to films, but so much variety doesn't come cheap. Nowadays, the average blockbuster's budget is around $50 million. Now with new IMAX and high definition cameras, the cinematic experience is nothing less than spectacular. Impressed of that? Well don't worry, the movie industry wanted to take it all one step further. 3D I'm here in Fairham Town Centre to ask employee Adam about the facts and functions of the 3D TV. Um, you know there's 3D in films, do you think that um, filmmakers take away the focus on the story and acting and they focus more on the special effects? For example, Sony Pictures have been, have been talking very closely with like, the stores and everything else. Um, they're going to be trying to incorporate action but also try and base more of the storyline as well. Do you think because you have to wear the glasses to enjoy the full 3D experience, people may lose interest quickly and go back to their standard definition and high definition TVs? It's funny you say that. Like, a lot of people are a bit optimistic with 3D at the moment, where it's so new. But me personally, no. We're all now used to 3D in film. Clash of the Titans, Alice in Wonderland, Toy Story 3, Jackass 3D, and not to mention Avatar. So now we're all used to it. When do you think it officially started? 2006? 2000? 1990? No, you're way off. Three dimensional films officially started in the 1950s. And I wonder who started it all. Back then it was more of an illusion than film. In the end, no filmmakers could agree on what was the best way to make 3D films, and the industry was spending too much money. So eventually, they scrapped it. The return of 3D was in the 1980s and 90s, driven by IMAX theatres and Disney-themed venues. But the 2000s was when 3D film was catching people's attention, and the release of Avatar in 2009. Now you may think 3D is a well and good, but there are a lot of different opinions. Um, I prefer 2D, 2D films because like with 3D films you've got to wear the glasses and it's just such a hassle to wear them. I prefer 2D because I think 3D is a bit of a fad. The, the whole thing about the 3D movies where you've got to wear the specs so you've got to sit in the right position and all that, it just it takes away the enjoyment. Having never watched a 3D film, I'm I'm able to make a comparison, I'm sorry, so at the moment, 2D. <laughs> As you have seen, this is a double-sided argument. People may love 3D for the feeling of being there in the action, but others will feel that 3D takes away the focus on the story and acting. It's an excuse for film producers to make money with a poor script, acting, and stick some fancy effects on it. Everyone has an opinion. I have mine. What do you think? You decide.